Oh, and we are beginning. Okay. So let us we go. go. We've got double Pentacrest. Ah, uh, yeah, Mellow's on top. Yep, I know that. Why is that doing that? One second. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. That is you. Okay, so we got a mage versus a rogue here. Looks like he is playing the mill rogue. He is going to play his mill rogue deck. In a competitive setting. This, interesting, might, be, this interesting. might be fun. And we got a uh, we got a tempo mage, it looks like. Personally, this matchup is like so hard to play. Ooh, we got Arcane Giant in the fucking Tempo Mage deck. I like that. I like that a lot. Arcane Giant, I pl I was able to test that out, and that was a fun card. Very beneficial to uh, anybody who's playing Yogg. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you slam it in a Yogg deck, it's probably going to get some some good discounts on it. Mm. It's playing Cabalist Tome, too. I like it. I like it. See, like, this is the problem with uh, the Mill Rogue deck, though, is because... In a matchup like this, like, all the Tempo Mage is going to do is just, you know, hit you in the face with spells all day long. So your plan of, like, milling their deck is actually going to be beneficial to them because you're just going to draw them into more burn spells. And they can get rid of their hands so quickly with stuff like Sorcerer's Apprentice that, you know, it's really, really easy to lose quickly. Oh, does he miss both the pings? No, okay, he gets, he gets the ping. So now we got a Flame Waker on board. Very scary. He has no way to combo this Abyss unless he wants to gang up the Flame Waker, which Might honestly... Might not be a bad idea. It, it, it's a little iffy. A little iffy. I mean, he is iffy. expensive. It's a three mana for a two four, but at the same time, he's got enough cards that require spells because you said earlier, you know, a mill deck is full of utility. Oh, I know, yeah. It would with, trigger. Yeah, if he had, you know, ganging up the Flame Waker seems good because you have a lot of synergy with the deck with, like, Backstab and, you know, cheap spells like Sap, Abyss, Fan of Knives. But, uh... You have to you save. Have to draw, no, you have to draw into those combos, right? And, you know, if you... If you gang up the Flame Waker, those are a lot of dead draws that aren't going to draw you any cards. Like, it's going to dilute your deck, and you won't find Cold Light as fast, which is what right. you really, really need. You have, to ha you have to save gang up for both Cold Lights. Potentially. That, that's the ideal scenario, you know. You really want to save them for the Cold Light, but obviously there are some fringe scenarios where you have to gang up on something that you don't want to. Having to play the Brewmaster Ooh, without the trigger. He plays the Brewmaster. See... I would have, uh, I would have liked to see the assassinate there, because it stays really, really, really mana efficient, and it gives you a combo for a vis next turn, which is easy. Like you know, four mana brewmaster, two mana vis on six. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. So uh, que a little questionable play, but we'll see what happens. Eh, not too questionable. I mean, he he was still playing in tempo. Just yeah. I think we're just gonna see a flame maker frostbolt here. Oh, is he gonna go double blast? Interesting. With an Azur Drake in hand, he chooses to use double blast. All right. Well, he doesn't actually miss any damage because the Flame Maker pings went phase, so it's okay. See, and then Water Ellie. See, like, that's the other thing. Water Ellie is, like, such a pro. Oh, God, man. Yeah, this Mill Rogue hand is pretty, uh, pretty gross. Pretty gross. Ah, oh, man. Double Gang Up, double Assassinate against a Tempo Mage. How do you ever win? Oh, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, that feels bad, dude. That feels real bad. Yep. Makes the right choice, but still is going to get punished for it. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. I wonder if, if he's going to Drake or if he's going to Cabal Stone here. I think Azur Drake is definitely the play, but uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely Azur Drake. You could play out these images too. Yeah, even with the Vanish, because that's where the hand clog starts coming. I mean, yeah, that's true, but he's also got to have the Cold Light to punish you with, with the Vanish. Or he needs Prep. And I don't think I saw Prep throughout both the games. No, so I that, didn't either. Yeah, that might be a card that he just does not have in his collection. So, you know, obviously, it's going to be a little hard to, you know, be have a great mill road game when you don't have prep because prep's like the best card in the deck but it's okay sometimes people just like to have fun and you know can't blame him for that oh uh, come on cabal stone yeah cabal stone there we go Ooh. oh nice. we found forgotten torch that's good nice torch standard is just, cards yeah, torch is just more burn yeah see he's gonna vanish here and like while it gets rid of the minion pressure on board, he can just play that Mana Worm again and pump it up, you know? So he's not actually, like, doing anything. And, like, he can actually just play Arcane Giant, which is... Oh! And he mills the Mana Worm, which is, like, the one card that doesn't matter if it gets milled. Pretty much. Couldn't find Yogg. No. Oh, wow. He chooses not to play the Arcane Giant. Yeah, save it up until it's free. Yeah, I guess that's true, but... I don't know. I like the pressure because it sets up lethal, but... 
But whatever. I think he's gonna win either way. I, I, it's, yeah, yeah it's a pretty it's a pretty hard spot to I'm lose. I'm kind of writing off this game at this point, but you know, yeah. nothing is nothing is said and done it's, until uh, people explode. It's tough to watch a uh, person try to play some mill rogue and you know get destroyed, but that's what happens in Hearthstone. Sometimes you try to play a deck and you get countered pretty hard. Yeah, there's the fireball off the top. That's game. Womp womp. Womp womp womp. All right. So hopefully we will get into a little bit more serious Hearthstone plays, depending on what Pentagrast has left. Why did I give he's that got, to him? Uh, he's got Warlock and Druid, so... Oh, no, it's Warrior. Warrior and Druid, not uh, Warlock. So it's probably going to... I'm going to predict just, you know, Yogg, Druid, Dragon, Warrior, but... We'll let him surprise us. See well, what he's got. and it depends on who Mellow banned. Oh right, yeah, exactly. There's a band, so I wonder what we'll be seeing: Druid or uh, Warrior. And we get the usual pressure of how hard is it to click a button? Oh, so we got Druid. Okay. Wonder what kind of Druid we're gonna have. Ooh, it looks to be Ramp Druid. Or maybe some kind of Reno Druid, honestly. Mark of Nature? Seems like a Reno card. Oh, double Mark of Nature. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, I mean, honestly, he's actually not in too bad of a spot if he coins this Aspirant. Because if he coins the Aspirant right away, he can... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he would have been in a good spot, but that top deck man of oh. Ooh, all right, all right, all right. Uh-huh. He's got some ramp. Ramp is always good. You, you, you never really say no to ramp. So. Nope. Interesting is if he top decks an answer. Oh, he doesn't. Wow. So now he's oh. going to play the Sork, and it's going to get killed, and he's going to feel pretty bad about it. Because he's probably going to mark of nature for health here. That would be the uh, smart play. Yeah, you mark of nature for health, make a 2-7. It's annoying to deal with. Oh, Naga Sea Witch. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, hit that mark of nature for health. That's good. That's good. And it's good. All right, Arcane Intellect, see what we find. Okay. Now, is it a good idea to swipe the Mana Worm, or is it a good idea just to... to oh, d never! <laughs> wow. The draws. The double Wild Growth draw. No, I think he's just going to take the value trade with the Hero Power, yeah, and play one Wild Growth. Yeah, that definitely seems good. Is it, a, is it a good idea to save a Wild Growth towards endgame when you need that draw, or is it good to just play it early and get ready for a Naga uh, Sea Witch? It really depends on your hand, you know? If you have something to curve into, like say you say he picked up an 8-drop next turn, then Wild Growthing would be good because you Wild Growth into your 8-mana card. But uh, if your hands are, like, real bad and you don't have much to do, saving the growth for draw sometimes might not be that bad. Here's an interesting play. Like, nothing looks particularly good. Like, he could knock a Sea Witch, you know, YOLO Sea Witch, see what happens, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna, he's gonna growth, okay. Yeah, that's good, because it gets you one turn closer to Kraken, which is, you know, actually a pretty powerful card on its own. How many cards deal four damage, uh, just off the bat? Um, Soul I mean, Fire, Swipe, Storm Crack, uh, there's a bunch of them. But there aren't any cards that deal four and leave a minion on the board. The only thing I could think of is Gormak the Impaler. Yeah. Gormok's also conditional, too, though. You need a board to play it. Yep. Oh, man. Yeah, that fireball's going to feel real bad, but it's Ow. okay. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, damn. Top deck a nine drop. So he's probably going to have to play out the Sea Witch here. Mm, oh, what is... Oh, save what are we, oh, I don't know about save, that. Save the Sea Witch until you're uh, 10 mana. That way you can put the Sea Witch down and put something to actually... Maybe yeah, keep that's it alive. The, uh, that, that, that's, that's looking for the value play on the Sea Witch, but I much personally rather would have seen the uh, Tempo play where you just play out the 5-5 five, five for the body because it can test the Water Elemental. But uh, it's, it's, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. So now he draws Nourish, which is probably one of the best draws in his deck. If in doubt, draw more. Ooh, he draws Innervate too. Okay. Second Aspirin. All right, all right. See, but now is when things start to get scary because the Tempo Mage has a board and he has spell damage up. Oh, what? He's not playing the Flame Waker, really. I would have definitely gone in with Flame Waker here. Mm, what's he saving Flame Waker for? I mean, I don't know. Play, I don't know. Play the second Azure Drake and then uh, Flame Waker next turn, depending on spells. 
if he even needs to at this point. What's he uh, thinking about here? Play it. Yeah, yeah, you play it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're Gucci. Oh, That's capitalist cool. home. Always Oh, good. I think he I think he should honestly uh Oh no, he can't Naga see which innervate cuz innervate costs 5 after that. Oh yeah, it does don't it. Ooh, see, see Kraken's pretty good here. It, it 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 almost gets him back into the game, but the Temple Mage has Cabal's Tome He's in hand. Gonna, uh, he has Frostbolt. Uh, what's he wrapping? Wait, what? Huh. Wrath for three. Okay. See, now that, yeah, that Missile's pickup is huge because he just Flame Waker, Missiles, Frostbolt, and he's probably just got enough damage, honestly, if he goes phase. Like, if he Frostbolt's phase, that's eight, 11 Missiles. He's got potential lethal here with Missiles going right the right way. Well, so, yeah, here we go. All right, let's see where the missiles go. Minion, face, face, face. That's really good for him. I think the game's over if, if these uh, pings go right. Nope. Okay, so he, chose, he chooses to clear instead of going for the uh, potential lethal. Oh, wait, no, no, no. He would have been one off. Never mind. My bad. Count better, god damn it. Yeah. God damn it, Bobber. So, nah, uh, so now this uh, druid, you know, has to feel bad again. Got a, got a pretty easy sweep here, you know. Why not uh, Sea Witch and Iron Bark, or Sea Witch and... Um, um, I think he kind of, like, has accepted that he's probably lost this game, but, you know. Eh. See, now is where he Cabalist Tome into Frostbolt for the win. No, no, no. Oh, he's just going to go for the, for the hmm. missiles play. Go for the lols. One missile hits face. It's over. It's over. Ping face. Oh, wow, he's going to go for the style play. <laughs> he, oh, yeah. Oh, I thought he missed. I thought he missed. All right, so. That's the uh, first game. We've Looks got like uh, Mello has beaten Pentagrass 2-0. Mello will now be advancing and facing off against Dirty Chancho. Okay, all right.